In today's video, I'm sharing how to make a DIY snowman gnome for your Christmas decor. Welcome to Created by Nature DIY and Decor. My name is Donna. So for this gnome, I'm going to be using this microfiber cloth that I picked up from Dollar Tree in the automotive section. You could feel free to use a sock instead, but I really wanted to try something different and I've really been wanting to try out this microfiber cloth. So I am just folding it down into a more usable piece and I am going to be cutting it down to size. I have a full playlist full of different ways to make gnomes. So I will have that link down in the description box along with a link for you at the very end of this video. I cut my fabric down to seven and a half inches wide and 12 inches long. I will be using the very fuzzy side of this fabric and I will be folding this over to make sure that my right sides are together. And then using my hot glue gun, I am just gluing the edge together as you see here. Once you have that edge all sealed up, you can see here at the bottom there's some seam and I am going to be tying that bottom portion off with some string and then adding a little daub of hot glue. Now you won't be seeing this part as I will be turning this inside out. This will be the bottom of our gnome. Once you have your fabric turned right side out, you can then start to fill it. I like to start off with some pebbles. You can use some rice or legumes, use whatever you have that's handy. I like to use some rocks because then I don't have to worry about bugs or anything. So I'm just adding a bit to the bottom and that will create some weight just so it sits on the counter nicely. And then I'm gonna fill it with some fiber fill. I use pillows from Walmart and just use the stuffing from that. I am creating our first ball on the bottom of our gnome. And you can see I just partially filled it and then I'm gonna be using a string to tie it off tightly and that will create the shape that we need for our snowman gnome. So I'm going to add just a few more pebbles there on the second layer and add some more filling, but I'm not going to fill this up as much as you know how it is on a snowman. There are some different levels. So I am creating this next le le level a little smaller. Again, I'm just tying it off with some string. I'm going to trim off the excess fabric at the top and then I will be adding just a little dab of hot glue and that will help hold it all together. Trim off any of the excess as needed. So my two layers were a little wobbly, so I am just adding some hot glue to the seam of the two layers and then I'm gonna push it together until the glue is set. Okay, so for our next step, I am going to be using a foam cone. This particular one is about five and a half inches tall. I am going to be cutting this down to size though, as I only need the wide portion of this foam cone. So I'm just gonna cut it down to size as I need. I am gonna be creating my own top hat. You could definitely use a top hat ornament, but I thought I would just show you the option of making your own. And then you could use this on a snowman, your gnome, or you could even create ornaments. Next, I have used my Sizzix die cutting machine and circle die set. And I have cut out a two and a half inch circle of cardboard. This is just a cereal box and then I cut two pieces 
of three inch black felt pieces. I'll have links to these for you down in my Amazon affiliate store. So I would like to use a combination of some tacky glue and some hot glue. I'll generously apply the tacky glue to the cardboard piece and then press it into the center of one of our circle felt pieces. Next, you'll be applying some more of the tacky glue onto the cardboard and then applying that second felt circle onto our cardboard. And I'm just gonna press this down firmly and then I'm going to be using some hot glue to seal off the edge. So now it's time to cover up the foam cone. It is approximately two and a half inches wide at its widest base. And I am going to be cutting out another circle that's two and a half inches wide from my die cut set. And I'm going to be using that piece to cover up the widest portion of our foam cone. Here, I'm just using a scrap piece of the felt to cover the side of the foam cone. And I'm just going to kind of use some hot glue and then pull it and stretch it. I'm just making sure that I have a bit of a lip to work with, just so I know that I have enough felt to cover up our piece. You don't have to use a scrap piece, by all means, go ahead and use a full piece, but I just wanted to use up this little piece I had on hand. Now I'm just trimming off the excess and using my glue gun to continue to seal off the felt onto our foam. Now I do have a lower temp glue gun and I'm still being careful with how I am applying the pieces. So I did end up cutting a two inch circle as you see here. Uh, I found that I had just a little bit of uneven surface, so I thought I'll just fill in that surface with a smaller circle and then top it off with our two and a half inch circle felt piece. And that will seal it all off and create our hat, as you see here. By all means, if you can find a Christmas ornament that's a top hat, as I mentioned before, then for sure go ahead and use that. But I really wanted to just try this out to see if I could create my own hat. So now I'm going to be gluing the brim of our hat to the top of our hat portion. And I'm just going to generously apply some glue, press the two pieces together and hold till set. So now we're gonna start to decorate our gnome. I'm using this white faux fur that I picked up from a local dollar store. You could use the trimming off of an old stocking or you can pick up some fur from your local fabric store or craft store. Um, I also have some other options to create beards. Again, in the playlist, I've got all kinds of gnome tutorials for you. So I'm just cutting this faux fur down into a shape uh, that will be suitable for this particular gnome body. And then I'm just going to add glue to the top portion of our beard and press that into place as you see here. So I'm just gonna trim off a bit more of the fabric as you can see here at the top. And then I am going to be generously applying some hot glue to our hat and then pressing that down into place. You will want to make sure you have the seam of your hat lined up with the seam of your snowman gnome body. I'm just gonna go in with my glue gun under the rim and apply some more hot glue and then press that down and that will allow the hat to sit really well on the top of the head. 
I had recently gone foraging and I collected some branches from the forest and I wanted to use those as the arms. Now you could feel free to use some pipe cleaner or whatever you have on hand. You could definitely skip this step if you wanted, but I really wanted to try this out. And here I just trimmed them down to size and then I'm using some hot glue and I'm placing them into the seam of our snowman body. I am going to be using an orange pom-pom for the nose. You could use a wood bead if you wanted, but before I do that, I'm just going to glue the middle part of our beard down into place. And then I'm just gonna dig into the fur and place our little nose in. And I kind of made it look like he's got a bit of a mustache, as you can see. I'm going to be decorating our top hat. You do not have to do this step, but I felt like it was a little unfinished. So I'm just using some faux greens that I picked up from Dollar Tree that I had in my stash, along with some really pretty red berries. I dug into my stash of buttons and I found three black buttons and I'm applying these with hot glue. I'm just, again, making some room in the beard for two of them. And then I added the last one just at the bottom of the body. So I'm going in on the side of the head and I'm adding a bit of hot glue and then pressing the beard in and around the shape of our head. And that will just help create the snowman shape at the front of our gnome, as you see here, fluff it up and then it's ready to put on display. I am so happy with how this guy turned out. I think he is so much fun for the holiday season. As always, I love to know what you think by leaving me a comment down below. I want to thank you all so much for being here today. Here is the link for the GNOME playlist and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.